If you want to learn how to buy a business from people who've already done it, then come to Deal Makers Live on the 6th and 7th of July 2023. The registration link is on the bottom of the screen. On this video, you will see behind the scenes of our last Deal Makers Live. It was an amazing event, and this time you need to be part of it. You know something, uh, you will find that positivity and optimism will get you deals, without a doubt. And I think we're going to be feeling some of that positivity and optimism uh, in the room this weekend. And we've got two days together, the first time we've done something like this for about four years. And I've got to say, it, it feels good to be back in this environment. And you're going to be making lots of new friends, lots of new contacts over the next two days. And we've got a lot that we're going to be covering. Uh, I've got some great guests. Yeah, yeah, we're looking for sort of a million plus. I mean, we probably lower that to, to 500,000, just in case there's any real gems in that category. But we, yeah, really, we want to be looking at million plus businesses. So that'll be Jonathan, Circular 2019. Um, we're just up, nudging up to seven million worth of turnover. We've got two more that are in legals at the moment. So once they all come out, our group will be about 1.5 million turnover. The business we're talking about was 7 million turnover. It currently operated 32 class one tractor units and I think 35 trailers, I believe. What was your position? What were you doing before you got into this? I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't working at the time. Previous to the city marriage breakup, I was like working 20 hours a day. You know, I was, I was double manned in a truck um, for about 17 hours. We want to grow to that 10 million turnover and then look at an exit at that point. How do you see 2023 panning out? What's the, what's the plan? So my, my ultimate goal is to get to the top 100, um, which is actually not as big as you'd think. It's sort of just over about 4 million in turnover, so we're about halfway there now. So we doubled our recurring revenue overnight um, for 100 grand. Uh, so we went from about 2.5 to 5 million quid um, for what is effectively the price of a, a car. You actually said when, when you were putting the microphone on over there, uh, you said it's your fault, which was an interesting way of... Uh, of, of well, well, what, what's my fault, John? Yeah. Um, it's your fault that I've got uh, a current buy and build with a sort of £6 million revenue and five independently owned entities. Completely your fault. And I definitely wouldn't have happened <laughs> uh, without you. Uh, and that's a fact. This was my side gig. That I so the point here I think I can make is that if you have a full-time occupation and you are a full-time managing director, yep. uh, you can still buy a business evenings and weekends. It's, it is not a full-time job buying one business. Uh, at one point I had seven uh, various stages of, of, of diligence. Uh, and even that wasn't full. That wasn't full time. Yeah, you know, that was that was. Yeah. It was like, what do, what do I what do I have to do today? Or oh, not very not very much. Yeah. So you can buy one business evenings and weekends. It's a bit like um, a duck taking off from a lake and then landing back on the lake as well. It's all a bit flappy and everything else right at the beginning and right at the end. The middle bit's actually quite calm. I did the mastermind in 2019. Finished it in 2020. Uh, I did my first deal in August 2020 and I now have a group of manufacturing businesses that turns over eight million. Did you put any of your own money in to those four acquisitions? No. Are you sure? Zero. Okay. Not a uh, penny. If you haven't booked your ticket yet, use this link below. It's in the video description to book your ticket and I'll see you at Dealmakers Live.